Uh, all right, just got it done here. Today's video is brought to you guys by Wildwood Whole Kernel Corn. Maiz de grano entero muy dulce. No, I'm just messy. All right, guys, check this out. I got a little can of corn here. You guys know what is going to be the gig for today, huh? This is the good stuff right here, man. Look at that. One, two, three, four. All right. Let's do the intro. What's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Full Efficient Channel. For a moment, I forgot I am in kind of a residential zone. I don't want to alert the residents so much of my presence. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, today is July 13th, 2018. It is my outing number 93 of this year. <sighs> You guys have been coming here on the channel for ages, right? Video after video, always telling me, Leo, get a net. Leo, land the fish nicely. Leo, why don't you just buy one? So there you have it. Ages later, months later, I'm finally bringing you guys in this video, my new fishing net. I got here my new net, no, for real now. This video is sponsored by test king even though the brand of this net is mad bite all right this is my new foldable net i would like to emphasize that mad bite is like a sister company to cast king both of them under the brand eposidon and i'm going to be rocking i'm going to be testing this net today to see how it does how it performs first and foremost when i got this net on the internet one thing that I really liked about it was the fact that it is very convenient for me, right? As you folks know, I go around using public transportation all the time. And check this out. It is so easy to carry this thing around, no hassle. And I don't really need to get judged by everybody down there, right? Carrying a huge net, like, oh man, what is this kid doing, right? I mean, even if I had a car, right? You just do a fishing session out there. You get your net all dirty and stuff like that. Man, wrap it up. Put it in the car, no hassle, no dirty, clean, it's all good, right? Let me just show you the net here real quick. Nothing much to say about it. It is a, a fishing net, right? And the best way to test the fishing net is, of course, to put it in action, which is why in this video, at the beginning of this video, you guys probably already realized what we're going to do today, right? We are going to do some carp fishing here at the canal. So check this out, all right? We got the net here. It is a foldable net it comes like this inside the package open it up very simple there's an open lock here at the back wow man opening net 101 with epf this is the short version there is a longer version on the website so hopefully i'm going to you know we're going to use this net today and i'm going to land some common carp the cypriot scarpio in this video see how this little baby performs all right let me get my gear set up all right i just got my two setups for the day ready over here i would like to emphasize we are not doing anything too fancy in this video okay nothing exotic it is really sight fishing for carp 101 all over again if you guys don't know how to do it i'm gonna link a video here in the cards above you can go check out my carp fishing tutorial but summarizing, just walking up and down your local bodies of water with polarized glasses until you spot some common carp, the Cyprinus carpi, right? Step number two, no pre-chum necessary. Just chum a little bit of corn, get your setups ready, throw it in there, and hopefully you're going to land some fish. <laughs> so the two setups that I'm going to use for today is all Cast King, all right? I'm using two Cast King, Royal Legend, Median Action, two different reels, Centron 4000, Mela 3000, two trusted reels that I use for steel fishing when it comes to fresh water, all fluorocarbon line, okay? Cast King Fluorocoat, as you guys know, the, the carp is a very finicky, a species of fish make sure you use a line that is as invisible as possible down there in the water right when it comes to the rig like i said no secret is lip sinker setup with a half ounce egg sinker little swivel 
and then just a little size 8 gamakatsu octopus hook. I'm gonna bait each hook for about two to three kernels of corn, throw it down there. My only blunder for the day so far is that I forgot my rod holders. So I will have to set the drag a little bit loose so that they don't take my rods if they bite today, okay? Let's put, let's put this mad bite right, uh, net right here to use and see how it performs. All right, it's good. Oh, 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 dang! Instant hit. I just dropped this one in the water. Instant hit. Wow, I was so surprised. Oh, this is gonna be a good session today. All right, first fish, first fish. Oh, it got off. Dang it! You guys saw that after the first bite, I immediately got that line out of the water because I don't want my lines to tangle, right? But yeah, sadly, this fish got off. Gotta wait till the next run. Oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's feeding, he's feeding good. Come on, get my corn, man. Got him. Got him, got him. Went into the crap. Went into the tree. Dang it, son. Can't let them run, man. Can't let them run, they go inside the tree. This spot that I picked, I'm using six pound test line with this line too. This spot that I picked is brutal, but I mean, this is the only spot that got the carp. The carp are not dumb. They know this is a good spot. That's why they stay around here. Perfect for cutting my line. Oh, oh, oh he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He got it, he got it, he got it. No, 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 come here, come here. No, I'm not gonna let you get in the woods again. Not in the woods, son. Not in the woods. Mm -mm. From the moment you inhale the corn, it's game over. I told you guys, side fishing for carp. Uh, man, from the moment he inhaled that corn, it was game over. Game over. Don't even think about running for the woods, my man. Mm -mm. Oh, it's good. So it's still got some power in it. Okay. But take it easy. My net is all the way to the other side. Put a nice fight. Gotta give it credit. Oh man, he saw the net. And he darted for it. Oh no, my mistake. Dang it. My mistake, my mistake. Line got caught in my hand. It didn't go out, it popped. I'm using eight pounds test. Ah, my mistake, my mistake. Ah. Oh. What an amateur mistake. What an amateur mistake. <sighs> Usually, at the end of the battle, when the carp is kind of tired, you pull the line by the hand to drag it to the net. That's how I like to do it. Uh, you know, when the carp pulls, you gotta let the line go, right? But this was totally my mistake. The line got tangled on my hand, so of course when it pulled, it was like full force, you know? Against eight pounds test line, it was like game over. It's okay though, I mean, you know, at least we got 
a carp on the night on the line for a little while. Let's try to catch another one. Oh, man, this fishing session is turning out to be quite rough. I've missed so many fish so far. One of them, you know, because kind of did an amateur mistake, but the other ones is just being really, really rough because I don't have the right tools with me. You see, the water in this canal is extremely low right now. So these carp are very, very finicky. And the thing with them is if I am around and they are able to see me, they are so finicky that they don't really bite the corn. I really need my rod holders. I've been holding my rods right now because I'm afraid, you know, they're gonna drag it into the water. I'm about to go back home and get my rod holders and come back and do some fishing. Well, as my father used to tell me, another day, another dollar. It is a new fishing session today. And I got all the right tools that I actually need today. Check this out, huh? I got the rod holders with me today. <laughs> so from yesterday's fishing session, or AKA yesterday's failure, I learned two things, right? One thing was that the spot that I picked was extremely snaggy. That is a spot that is a little bit on the upper side of the canal with the sunken trees. There were lots of carp around there because they like the structure. But the thing is, a place like that is just very, very difficult to catch fish because once the fish gets hooked on your, on your hook, the first thing that the fish is going to do is, of course, run for the structure right so that was number one number two those fish over there were extremely finicky all right so so finicky the water levels of the canal are actually pretty low so i expected the fish to be extra finicky and extra worry of their surroundings but let me tell you something yesterday it was beyond my expectations the fish knew about the fishing line and my setup down there. My Centron with 20 pounds fluorocarbon didn't get a single bite yesterday, which is why today I'm using eight pounds liter with this Centron with an extra long liter so that it stays a little bit further from my slip sinker setup, my swivel and my sinker. Not only that, every time I was close by, the carp wouldn't feed. They would see me up here, you know, they would feed only at the borders of the chum and not feed at the heart of it. So today I decided to pick an easier spot to fish at. Check this out, this is gonna be round two. I just chummed right in front of me over here. There's a bunch of carp and hopefully we will finally get this poor mad bite net over here wet. Stay tuned, round two starts now I think it's just sunfish maybe there's like a whole school of sunfish here or something oh it's a catfish I thought it was a sunfish dang it's a bowhead wow okay first catch of the day not exactly the carp that I expected little bowhead i don't even need a net this one here we don't need we don't need to wet this net for this guy here you know have to walk all the way there dang son wow bowhead catfish that's a nice brown bowhead too the ameurus nebulosus not exactly what we're looking for but hey man I'll take it, you know? Check this out, huh? Nice, nice little bowhead catfish right here. Gonna take a shot and put it back. Bro! So many bowhead around. I mean, so many carp around. And a bowhead decides to hit. Isn't that weird? That's odd. This is very suspicious. Oh, he let go. Whatever it was here. Oh, it's on. It's on. You got to be kidding me. It's another catfish. 
Man, why is it that when I want to catch some carp, the ca <laughs> how many bowheads are in this canal, man? <laughs> I'm here trying to catch some carp, bro. All the bowheads are biting. Ay, 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 look, look, look at that. Look at that. Yo, looks like about the same size as we caught before. So I don't know about the carp, but I found the bowhead hole, okay? Ay, ay, ay. Look, will you? Look at this. Can, can we lift it up? I think so. Ah, I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah, man. I don't know about the common carp. I mean, there are certainly some carp down there. I've been waiting for them to eat on the chum. But the brown bowhead has been on fire. And these are no small brown bowhead either, okay? For bowhead, these are actually pretty good size. Ah, this is turning out to be quite interesting. An interesting fishing session, Inter <laughs> interesting day. So fish number two of the day, not a carp, not a carp, but it's still a bowhead. Man, I don't know what is going on here. The carp are definitely feeding down there. We'll see. Got him, got him. I don't know about the carp up here, but down there, the carp are pretty active, okay? The little ones. <laughs> Don't even need a net for this one over here. Can just pull it by the line. Ay, 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 ay. Ah, 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 man, sound effects today are 100 out of 100. Look at this. I don't know about the carp up here, but down there, the little common carp on the corn. I'm chumming down there. Look at this. They're biting, man. They're biting good. <laughs> I'll release this one up here. It's gonna have a better life at the canal. Well, I don't know about carp. Up here, this rod has been in the water for quite a while. This spot, definitely not producing. But down there, look at that. Uh, da -da -da -da. We did catch a little common carp that if we don't even need the net to land it, right? Just gonna release this guy over here. Man, my net hasn't even been used yet. Blasphemy! Are we even going to use this net during this fishing session? I don't even know. Catch dinner yet? Nah, no dinner. No dinner? Mm -hmm. Have a nice day. Got another one. Another baby carp. Man, I don't know about the big carp, but the baby carp pretty on fire right here one baby carp after the other look at this little baby carp on the corn okay I don't know about the big ones but at least the small ones are willing to play let's release this one over here what the heck is this wow it's a fall fish I saw this little guy running down there and I was like, man, what type of fish is that that shines like that? It's a fall fish. Wow, okay. Oh man, we are catching, we are catching all types of interesting species today. You know, some bowheads, some little carp, and now a fall fish over here. Astonishing. So I just rooted up the carp rod over here. Look what we got. We got ourselves another little brown bowhead. It's not like the carp rod up here is not biting, you see? It's just that we've been catching all the bro all the bowheads for some reason. So there we go. One bowhead back to the canal. I still gonna set up this one rod for carp here and play a little bit with the other rod over there. Do a little bit more fishing and see if we will actually use this net today or not. Oh man, this is so frustrating. So I was just here fishing, chumming over here, chumming over there. You guys saw we caught a few brown bowhead. I played around with some carp and even caught a little fall fish down at the falls. And then little I knew, by the time I caught all those fish and chummed those spots, I run out of corn. Are you kidding? 
Uh, today was supposed to be the day of my revenge, you know, come back here to the canal, catch those nice carp that outsmarted me. Yesterday, well, no can do without the bait, right? I only brought two cans of corn and, you know, I run out, this is it. Unbelievable. I don't know, man, we didn't really get to use the mad bite net over here. That means I will have to bring this baby out for another fishing session, you know, and redeem myself. This time, you know, I lost, man. I'm defeated. I'm defeated. These carp are too smart. Well, thankfully, on one hand, we landed some fish. You know, the casking gear did not disappoint me. I've been playing around with the Royal Legend and the Mela 3000, right? I mean, very nice rod and reel for multi-species angling and even that little blunder that i did yesterday you guys saw in this video right the mela actually handled that carp pretty nicely if i didn't make that mistake i would have landed at least that one nice carp for this video right centron 4000 didn't really catch the carp but at least caught some fish today you know that's progress right caught a few brown bullhead the ameurus nebulosus so overall good fishing session very happy with the casking stuff. The net, I don't want to tell you guys that I recommend the net, you know, even though I do kind of recommend it, but I want to say that after I have actually used it and landed a nice big fish on this net, right? I do like it very much, as you guys saw in this video. I mean, just the fact that it is so convenient to carry this net around, right? It is like a big bonus. But yeah, I don't want to say that I recommend it 100% until I land like a 20, 30 pounder on this net. All right, guys, this is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that we didn't get a bigger fish. I will go out. I promise you, I will go out there. I will redeem myself. You know, I got some spots, man. I got some spots. We're going to catch some nice carp. We're going to get to use the net. You guys will see. All right. All coming up on the channel. But this is it for today. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys learn some stuff when it comes to carp angling. You know how to outsmart the carp around your area. Tie lines. I'll see you all next time.